I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. play all around him, but a farmer still got to work. in Kiwani province. What have you got for us? Kiwani's a major hub for the cartel's smuggling operations. We're talking about a sophisticated network of planes, trains, and cargo trucks carrying upwards of 30 tons of powder across the border. The network is the brainchild of an American national by the name of Boston Reed. Reed's a bush pilot who's been flying for Nydia Flores at El Buquita for years, and eventually worked his way into management. How do we get Reed? That's the tricky part. Reed's cagey as fuck. He stays in hiding most of the time, preferring to work through middlemen. 
Psych profile says he's clinically paranoid, but I think there's more to it than that. Like what? Money transfers that don't add up, message traffic to unknowns across the border, flights that don't correspond to cartel shipping routines. Reed's moving more than powder. She doesn't want Sueño to know about it. We've been getting reports of cartel activity around the train cemetery for some time now. See what you can find out. We're asking you to keep that shit in check. To be honest, we're making so much fucking blow that you would die before you can... Nomad, I just uploaded Boston Reed's CIA profile video. Should help you track him down here in Kalani. We've got intel on cartel activity at the train cemetery. Check the place out and see what you can find. And they hoes are acting really fucking paranoid too. So cutting down a little wouldn't hurt. You know what I do to keep my use of okay, la medicina in check? I like give myself a schedule. Neta. Like between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., I don't do no coke. And between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., also no coke. Now, I can smoke all the weed I want because that never hurt nobody. But for those four hours of the day, I don't do any kind of cocaine. Though I might put a spoonful of coca powder in my cheek. But that's natural, like weed. So it don't count either. But other than that, I'm drug free. I got into los huevos, mijos. Sticking to a schedule like I do takes a lot of discipline. But it really helps control your drug use and really keeps you from getting addicted. What time is it now? He's airborne. Hold on. Signs of cartel activity up ahead. Looks like Bowman was right. What's the play, boss? Let's find the asshole in charge and see what he can tell us. Another tango. We got a third target. Spotted one with some if that's a tour group, I'll eat my fucking boot. You think this is connected to Reed? Only one way to find out. What about the friendlies? We'll cut them loose if we can, but it's not our priority. Clear? Clear. Got eyes on a Santa Blanca lieutenant. Looks like he may be the man we're looking for. Got him. Remember, we need him alive. Buckle up, people. Approaching train cemetery. That where old trains go to die. When the local mines went bust, the companies left all their trains behind. Keep your heads down. We don't want to say a big hello until we find something. Opening fire. Shit balls. Keep that take I'm done fighting! Okay, listo! Take it easy, okay? Calmate, pues. Let's talk about this. Maybe we can make a deal, you and me. You want a deal? How's this? Give me Reed, and maybe I don't blow your brains out. I want that one. But look, I don't know where he is, okay? He does everything to his middle. What about these people? Where are they from? Five or six villages Reed likes to hit. Places where people disappear and no one asks any questions. I see this. And the cartel, they get a cut too. No, no, no. We keep this to ourselves. Sueño would send every one of us to El Pozolero if he found out. I want a list of these villages you've been targeting. Now. Tranquis, okay? Whatever you say. But you didn't get it from me, all right? Ta claro? <laughs> 